Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about congenital colon steatoma imaging. Terminology, congenital colon steatoma, CCH, benign mass secondary to epithelial rest of embryonal origin. Congenital colon Steatoma most commonly occur in middle ear, behind intact tympanic membrane. In patients without history of surgery, chronic arthritis media, or artery. Most common signs and symptoms: a vascular peeling, while middle ear mass behind intact. Tympanic membrane without fear, history of inflammation or trauma. Other signs symptom unilateral conductive hearing loss in 30%. Large middle ear lesion can obstruct a station shoe, leading to middle ear fusion and infection. Maybe this call. Surgical after chronic middle ear infusion is unresponsive to tympanostomy issue. Mastoid or petrous affect mass on imaging with symptoms related to involvement of adjacent structure. Rarely, external air canal mass with bone destruction. Demography. A. Average age or presentation or detection. Anterior or an anterior superior or yes. Posterior superior and mesotempanal triagulus. Ethic and mustard and through 20 years older. So, predominant in male. Epidemiology. Two to 5% of mem temporal bone called a steatoma uh, concert. Majority are middle here. Anterior superior tympanic cavity near estagian shoot or step is most common. Posterior baby tympanum and uh, tympanic isthmus. Other side include external ear, canal, petrous affect, and mastoid. Temporal bone CT finding small, well circumscribed. Middle ear lesion major to ossiform. Large mass may erode ossicum, middle ear wall, lateral, semicircular, canal, or tegment. Deepening. I'm um, finding peripheral enhancing middle ear mass with diffusion and restriction in light vision. This is axial bone CT in a three years old child without a story of chronic otitis media. So the tympanic around where circumscribed cholesteatoma. Anterior media to malus malotrum. Same patient again on axial tissue amount. So the congenital cholesteatoma has an intermediate signal intensity where they find middle ear mass. Anterior lateral to the basal turn of the right coffin. Axial T1 C plus FS and all in the same patient, so the centrally non enhancing congenital polysteatoma with a syndrome of peripheral enhancement adjacent to the coffin. This is a typical apparent. And location for the congenital 
Stato. Axel born city in a three years old boy. So a congenital colon steatoma after autoscopy as a purely by mass behind an intact tympanic membrane. Axial bone CT so a small, well-defined, around middle of the acrylic steatoma. And the estagem should horrify, notice in the operating room during placement of the meringostomy should. Treatment. Complete the call. HD patient, is the patient, treatment of choice, tapenoplasty for small, well encapsulated congenital cholesteatoma middle ear, tapenoplasty plus canal wall down, mastoid leptomy for light cholesteatoma middle ear. Transcanal endoscopic management is possible in some patients with middle ear and it's not gonna congenital place at all. Plus minus post-coaching reconstruction. Thank you.